It's no secret that channels with AI avatars are blowing up on YouTube and other platforms right now. The channel Digital Income Project grew from zero to 100,000 subscribers in just under six months. And the channel 10X Income grew from zero to 250,000 subscribers in three months. Both of these channels have revealed that they're making well over $10,000 per month with their AI avatar. And that's not the insane part. Because it's a faceless channel, it's actually a business. Where I actually need to show up to make this channel work, these guys can literally outsource every single aspect of their channel. And for all I know, they could be sat on a beach in Bali sipping on pina coladas. Now, before you click off, I know that everyone, including myself, has exposed on how to create these AI avatars. But what no one is revealing is how do they actually edit their videos? It's all well and good you having an AI avatar, but how do you actually make these viral bangers which are bringing in tens of thousands of dollars for them passively? Now, they probably don't want me to expose this because with this information, you can create the exact style of videos that they're making. Wait, stop. Let's figure this out. But sorry, boys. Today, I'm doing exactly that. Not only will I show you the exact method, but I'll break down the dark secrets on how they make you watch to the end of the video. And if that's not enough, then stick around to the very, very end because I'll show you exactly how they're making thousands from this business model and how you can do it too. Let's jump into how they edit their intros. Okay, this is what I'm going to show you how to recreate. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I start <laughs> is this familiar to you? Have you seen this anywhere? If you haven't, this is Digital Income Projects, the faceless AI avatar channel's most viral video that's almost hit a million views. Now, I've recreated this intro because the intro to a video is arguably the most important part and a massive contributing factor as to how he's got so many views. So there's some really cool editing strategies in this. I've broken it down. And not only that, I've given you a Google Doc and I've given you a folder of resources, which you will be able to use to recreate this iconic intro. Now, if that isn't exciting enough, I'm also going to show you three other methods in how they utilize their avatars throughout this faceless video. So let me show you examples of what this looks like. <laughs> We've got the return of AI with Karen. So here I'm going to show you how they utilize all these different PNG images of their avatars in different situations to express different emotions. Let's see. And then the final example is these explainer sections where they just use this grid background with the auto captions. And I've also created for you guys a bonus. These channels love a secret formula with a flow chart explaining it. So I've recreated this look and I'm going to give you a step by step guide on how to do it. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> if you're not excited, I don't know what is going to get you excited because these are the methods in which now you have an AI avatar, you can utilize these to actually add the avatar into a banger video. So without further ado, let's jump into section one of this and how I edited it. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I started building and took for the tutorial today, we're going to be using CapCut and all the resources will be linked down below. So this is the composition that we're gonna make for this intro. It's in three sections with three different editing styles slash strategies that you guys can then implement in future projects. So the first is this lineup of the three Instagram posts with the text on screen and then the jump cut into the zoom in. And then the next composition is these counting numbers, uh, which I'll provide for you guys in the description with this highlighted text effect and then a compounded of basically three screenshots that I grabbed from three different Instagram accounts. And then you're highlighting the name, which just obviously builds a lot of tension with the build up counting numbers. It was honestly a really sick intro. Then the final bit is just what I call the explainer section where they have a motion background and then some sort of overlay. So for this one, I use two grid overlays and then literally just the AI auto captions that you can do straight from CapCut. And then the final thing, of course, is a sound engineering. So all all of these audio files will be linked below as well. He does really well with this channel for his music choice that builds suspense. So I've, I've searched for ages for you guys to find the perfect track that's very, very similar to the track that he used. And I'll drop both the tracks below. So it's this keyboard and then I transition it into another track 
that has this high tension violin. So I'm gonna jump in and show you how to do this step-by-step -step with a brand new project and you guys can follow along and try these editing methods out. First of all, we're gonna go into CapCut and click start new project. Then we're gonna import the folder with all the resources that I've linked below. We wanna import the intro assets folder. Then open this folder up and drag and drop the voice in Instagram again. Voice over onto the timeline. This Instagram accounts have generated over. And now we're going to go and change it aspect ratio 16 by 9 and then drag and drop our first Instagram onto the project timeline. Then we're going to just cut this first section off. But before we do that, I've turned linkage off and then we can delete this without the voiceover being deleted. Right. Then we want to turn the volume of this Instagram reel completely off and we're going to crop this down so we get the top bar off and the bottom slider bar off there we go click confirm and now we're going to chop up all these instagram clips into their separate sections so i only wanted the length for the voiceover and even less than that so i'm just going to chop all of these up all three of these so i quickly rush through this delete and then there we go we got the three clips now we need to space it out so we've got the three clips equally spaced out like he has in the intro and I'm gonna scale this down to around 80%. And then I'm gonna do this for the next clip and for the final clip as well. And then I'm gonna move this one over to the right and then we've got our first composition. Now I wanna make a compound clip out of these three and then we'll do a cut and a zoom in. So we're gonna click Command B, we're gonna cut and then we're gonna zoom this in so it just overlaps in the frame. And there we go. That's the first effect basically done. Here, I want to zoom it a bit further out so the jump zoom cut My is a little bit more effective. Instagram accounts there we generated. go, perfect. Now we just need to go over transition and add the glare transition and we'll make this super short so it just flashes in exactly the same as the intro. So that's it, that's the first section of the intro done. Now we can just chop this bit off and delete it. Next, I'm gonna go into media and we're going to drag and drop the piano music. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over five. So then we are going to cut it on, I believe it's like the fourth or fifth. There we go. So yeah, on that sound wave, we want to cut it and then we can drag a drop a clip to meet perfectly there. Now we're going to add our Instagram uh, page screenshots and we'll drag this onto the timeline. Then we're going to use this grid. Created overlay to basically make sure that all the names are lined up in the same spot. So a little tip here, when you're scaling it up, it limits it to 500%. So if you wanna go higher than that, then you can just obviously just type it in, but you can actually use the scale um, slider. So once you've got it to the size you're happy with in the center, then you wanna go through and line up the other two Instagram pages. So we'll click V on that one to hide it. And then I'm just gonna do quickly fire through and do exactly the same. Then click V on this one, zoom it in and make sure that they're all on the same line on the grid. And then for the final one, I'm going to do exactly the same. So now they're all lined up with the grid, I'm going to delete the grid and then I'm going to click five keyframes across and then drag the next clip across and then five keyframes across again and drag the next clip across and then final five keyframes. And then we're going to cut all three clips there and we're going to delete that section. Then we're going to repeat these three bits multiple times for this clip. And this is basically going to be like the background footage for this shot. So now I'm going to zoom in and just drag this down and grab the third clip there. And then we're literally just gonna copy and paste and repeat all of this. So let me just clean up that. And then I'm gonna control C, control V, drag it down on the timeline, control C, control V, and there we go. Now this is what it looks like. So you wanna get it to the income. in passive incomes. In passive income is gonna in be the actual text popping up. So now we can just make a compound clip out of that and that's this next section done compound clip and there we go i'm going to cut it a little bit further back and now we can add the counting numbers effect so this is a asset from joey edit so cheers for that joey and now we're going to go into the chroma key we're going to use cut out and let's use just tiny bit of strength and then boom we're ready now we need to have three sections of this counting numbers so i'm going to start the 490,000 is going to be the normal speed so we'll drag this to the middle and then leading up to that bit, we're gonna make it super fast. So I'm gonna do a 25X to get it to there rapidly. And then we'll drag that into the middle. And then the final bit is that we need 500% obviously to be 500,000, sorry, to be still. So we're gonna do a freeze frame there. I'm gonna make that run to the end of that clip section, cut and delete that clip off. Okay, so now we've got the numbers counting up. We can go up 
and we're going to change this to yellow by increasing the temperature max to 50 and the hue down to minus 50. And there we go, we got nice yellow counting numbers and we can create a compound clip and drag this to the position that we want it, which would be around the middle center. Now we can go and add the dollar sign. So we're going to add a text box. We're going to line it up to the same thing. I'm just going to quickly delete this random bit that's here. Delete that. And now we're going to go and just type in the dollar sign. We're going to keep it as the same font. And we're now just going to drag it in line. But I'm going to use italics. Line it up with 55,000 with the numbers. I'm going to change the color to the same yellow. And we're just going to reduce the font a little bit. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it overlaps when it gets into the hundred of thousands. So we're going to drag it and line up the hundred of thousands. And now we can create a compound clip out of this. And we're going to add some animations to both of these. The same animation. I'm just going to use the slide up animation, uh, which is this one. And then we're going to add that to Rated. both the clips. And then they should synchronize and look like they are one. Perfect. Rated. So now that's synchronized. That's that section done. We're gonna do the highlight effect. So we've done this before multiple times in videos. Just add dashes and then we're gonna change the color and the size, scale it up. And then this one, we wanna make it nice and big so it covers the letters, put it next to it. And then we're gonna do this nice dark royal blue. And then we're gonna make sure that it covers the letterings, make it a little bit bigger, make sure it definitely cuts. And then cause I want a straight line, I'm gonna have to compound clip. So right click, compound clip, and then we're gonna use the crop tool to actually bring it back so we've got a sharp edge, so it looks like a straight line, because this the dashes currently have curved edges. And now we'll bring it over there, and then it's gonna be basic, blend mode's gonna be screen, and we'll just line it up with the Instagram name. So let's go through, make sure all the names are lined up. So this one's actually longer, so we're gonna drag it back to this one so that they all fit in it. So this is it. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna animate this on. So we're gonna go mask and that's gonna be horizontal. Then we're gonna move it right to the beginning of the highlighter effect like this. Then we're gonna set a keyframe and we're gonna increase the feather to three. Now we're gonna drag it to where we want the highlight effect to finish. And then we're gonna drag it across and then make sure that it covers the millionaire aesthetic candle so we're going to go all the way across okay now let's watch that back narrated over five hundred thousand yeah, dollars now we just need to drag the five hundred thousand a little bit further up so it's out the way we'll put it in the center there we go with a dollar sign okay so now in media we need to add the explainer section so i'm going to use the typography background and then I'm gonna add a couple of grid overlays just to add the same texture that Digital Income Project had in their video. So I've got this grid one and then we're gonna change the, this to screen, the blend. Now I'm just gonna delete the ex excess of this clip. And then I'm also gonna add this second grid and we need to just, cause it's a portrait, we'll just rotate it 90 degrees, scale it up. And then we're gonna change the blend mode to screen as well. So now we've got this cool effect. Now for this to do like the 3D rotation, we're going to add a keyframe and then we're going to scale it in and we're going to rotate it. So I want to make sure it's scaled in enough that when I rotate it, the edges don't show. So we'll scale it a little bit more. And then I want to move this keyframe right to the beginning. So I want it to start there and then at towards the end of the clip, I'm going to make it rotate and scale back out. So we'll turn the rotation back to zero and then we'll do the scale back to 100%. Okay, perfect. Right, so now let's add the violin sound. So this track is a banger and it'll be dropped uh, linked below. You'll need to get an upbeat subscription, um, but you can get it for free as a creator. So now we're gonna turn the volume down. So there we go. <laughs> That's pretty sick. 
Now we need to add the auto captions. And this is one of the best features on CapCut is this auto captions that neither Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro have. And the brand new AI one, which you do need CapCut Pro for, but it'll be linked down below, is incredible. It's so accurate and all of these templates are really valuable. Definitely a great new feature from CapCut. So we're gonna go start this AI auto captions and it's gonna take a few minutes, but it will have really accurate captions. And then we're gonna go over to templates and we're gonna turn it completely off and we're gonna create our own design so templates none then in animations captions we're going to use the bounce out my face so it's individual captions and then on the basics we're going to go we're going to change the font to starry and then bold and then i'm going to change the color i'm going to use this preset style of yellow and then i'm just going to reduce the stroke and add a shadow stroke down to 10 and we'll add a shadow and max out the opacity Okay, and then we're going to drag these up to the middle center. Then we're going to scale the font up. We're going to increase the size to 12 or I think 11 looks better. Then we're going to drag this start back to the my start. And now I'm just going to start this my as a capital M. My Go faceless back. Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I Okay, so now I just want it to say have generated and then we won't have any text on screen when we've got the animation. So I'm going to delete this section and then I'm going to delete those two words out of this. Okay, so that should be it. That's ready. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I started yeah. building Instagram accounts. Literally, this is sick. And the audio for this is absolutely class. I can see why, obviously, this intro did so well. So now we need to add some of the sound engineering. So I'm going to add this highlighter effect. And we're going to max up the volume so I can see where it starts. And now I'm just going to delete this side, delete this side. And then we're gonna line this up with the actual highlight effect while it's happening on screen. To make it the same length, you can increase or decrease the speed and this will obviously decrease the length. So I'm gonna reduce the noise down to roughly minus 15. And then the speed, we basically wanna lengthen it until we're happy that as the highlight effect finishes, so does the sound effect. So it properly matches. Generated over $500,000. So that, happy with that. So I'm just gonna turn this a little bit lower because I don't want the sound to completely be overbearing. So let's make this. Generated over $500,000. Perfect. So the next sound effect we need is these digital number, like counting sound effect, which will add loads to the counting number visual. Generated and because over five. this isn't long enough, I'm gonna basically cut the middle section out and then cut the end and we're going to literally just control option and then drag it over and then do the same thing again and then we go we've got the duplicates of the middle section then drag this up add the end section and let's listen to this generated back. over five hundred thousand okay, dollars perfect so that's a little top tip you can basically extend it and then we're going to reduce the noise to this generated over five hundred that perfect okay so now I, I want it to be a bit of a smoother transition between these two clips so we're gonna drag the violins down and then I'm gonna basically have it slowly merge on rather than just generate over $500,000 in passive income. I started the. So now we're gonna add the t -t click, which is actually a mouse click. And the closest sound that I found to replicate this is in actual CapCut's own audios. So we'll add this top mouse click, and as you can see, it's on my favorite. But the top thing, my but the tip is to cut it in half so you only have half the sound effect and it has that really nice when text cups comes up on screen. So then I'm gonna shorten this and it's literally a case of my using your keyframes. I'm just gonna go keyframe, keyframe. Once the word changes, then I'm gonna go back one space and then press enter. I'm gonna go through and do this for every single word. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. When the word ends, backspace, and I was going to speed through and do this for all of the claps. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated so over like. five hundred thousand dollars. And we're going to do it again for the second half. So I'm going to speed through and do all of this. Perfect. So now we're going to add a little suspense sound effect. So we go back to media and we're going to drag and drop this one onto the timeline. 
I think this adds so much to this high tension bit. And where you can see the sound waves peak, we wanna make sure that's at the transition between. So then I'm gonna drag this down, add this to $100,000 that sounds I started sick. building and Instagram then I just accounts. Add... I've generated over $500,000 in passive income. I started building okay, cool. Instagram now we accounts. Need to reduce the, the noise of these clicks when the words pop out. So I'm just going to drag and drop while holding command and then get this last one in here. And then I'm going to adjust the volume of these to, again, roughly like minus 10 or minus 15. Now I'm going to just delete the rest of this song. And now the final thing we want to add is the transition. So we're going to go to audios and we're going to do the camera shutter for when the three Instagram videos zoom in. So I'm going to search camera shutter and I'm going to drag and drop this onto the timeline. I'm just going to cut out this small section here. Again, because I only want a literally a really rapid transition. And then we're going to line this up with the glare transition that we added. And then we're going to reduce this down to minus 15. That's account. There we go. And then that is the intro. Okay, so now let's watch it back and see what we've created. My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I <laughs> That's sick. Honestly, I'm absolutely gassed at how this turned out. These editing styles can be added into your intros or intros for your clients. So this is an editing style which the editor and AI avatar Isaac uses a lot in his videos. Digital Income Project also uses it quite a bit, but this is a really good way of basically mixing up some random PNG of humans doing different expressions with your avatar over the top to sort of express emotion properly. Because obviously just sitting at a desk with an AI avatar talking is not that engaging. So this is what they do. So let's go into CapCut and we'll import the avatar assets and also the explainer section folder. Once you've imported those, we're gonna open up the explainer section and we're gonna add the gray grid. And then we're gonna change the aspect ratio 16 by nine, rotate this by 90 degrees and scale it up so it covers the entire aspect ratio. Now we're gonna add this overlay just to give it a bit of texture. We're gonna extend the grid to meet the same length. Now I want to add some rebound swing on the background of this grid overlay and we're gonna hit screen so we can actually see the background and overlay this. Now we're going to go and reduce the rebound swing and just make it a little bit less aggressive. So reduce the size and the speed of that, it looks good. And now for the overlay, it's changing the color of the gray grid. So we're gonna reduce the opacity back down, perfect. So now we've got the background ready, it's time to add the actual first AI avatar. So what we're gonna do is we've, we've generated our AI talking avatar in any sort of software and you can literally use any of these videos to create their style. Everyone's done a tutorial on this. So if you want to learn obviously how to do this bit, just go and watch any of these videos. I've done a video, Digital Income's done a video, everyone's done a video. This is old news on how to do this, which is why I'm not covering in this video. But once you have the, the video of the talking avatar, this is what we're gonna do next. I generated art using so first of all, I want to extract the audio. So if obviously we delete any of these sections, uh, it doesn't matter. So right click, extract audio, and then we've got the audio separate to the footage. So even if we chop it up, the sound, what we're talking about will stay the same. So now time to cut out the head. So we go on cut out and then we want to do auto cut out, which will make most of the picture gone. And then we're going to use mask, circle mask, and we're just going to cut out AI Karen's head. So I'm gonna drag it so it just has her neck showing with none of her shirt and stuff in it. And then we're gonna just add one feather. And now it's time to drag and drop our first avatar expression on screen. And it's literally Turn as simple up. as lining up the, <laughs> the PNG of the person with your avatar's head and creating a compound clip out of these two. So, I'm just going to hit option and drag up so then I can use the avatar head for the next section and look we'll drag this across and then I can just click both of these and right click create compound clip and that's literally it that's literally how you do it and you can drag this around the screen you can do whatever you want so now I'm going to um, add an animation to obviously animate them in 
and then I'm gonna go through and do this with the Turn other four PNG pictures just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna fly through this and speed this up. So now we've added the next one, you can now add an animator app and make sure like it overlaps so then you've constantly got a visual on. And then I'm gonna literally finish the rest, animate these and we'll literally add four characters on. So now we're done. The additional thing you can do is add some keyframes and some scale and position keyframes so then you can constantly be moving the avatar around. And then the final thing that you can do is like the background, we can add some rebound swing. So this again, just adds some visual movement to your avatar, makes it more engaging and keeps it Turn exciting. Turn your pet into an adorable there animated masterpiece and earn cash on Etsy. I'm Karen. Today, I will break down the simple steps for selling AI generated art using mid journey. <laughs> See, that's sick, isn't it? So that's just like an easy way of using that one static image of your avatar sat at a desk talking, adding some human expressions to it, like these guys do in all of their videos. Now, final little touch to this section with the talking avatar is that you can add auto captions. So it will be like the explainer section that we talked about in the intro. Then you've got the avatar talking at the same time. So it's literally as easy as in CapCut, go over to text and then we'll just do the AI packaging start. And then we're gonna go through and choose from just one of Canvas templates. So we'll highlight all the text, we'll go on templates. And then I think I'm gonna choose some with like a glow as we got a gray background something with like a neutralish color with a glow so i think this yellow glow is good and then we literally just move this to the center scale up the font and there we go so now we have <laughs> turn your pet into an adorable animated masterpiece and earn cash on etsy so now let me show you how to do the secret formula thing that all of these channels love to do to build suspense So to create the flowchart effect is actually really easy and it looks really sick. So you go into my resources and then you just add these green screen flowchart elements that I created in Canva for you guys. And we're gonna stack them on top of each other and then I'm just gonna lengthen it to the full length for the clip. And then we're gonna go over and we're gonna use the chroma key and we're gonna cut out the green. So that is the bottom layer. And then the next one, we're gonna do the same, cut out the green and there, add the strength and there we go. Now I want to size this so these are both fitted on this screen. So I'm gonna 180 rotate this because I want it to be a flow chart upwards. And then we'll just get yeah, size this so they both fit clearly on the grid. Now we need to add the arrows. So the arrow animation is an overlay. So we wanna go on blend mode and we're gonna click screen. And then we're gonna rotate this and we're gonna scale it down to point from the bottom box up to the top right and then to the top left as well. And this is literally the same arrow we're gonna use for all of them. So let me line that up nicely and then we're gonna cut the end off here. And then to make this like a really dramatic effect, we need to slow down the arrow. So we we'll do it to around 0.3. And then I'm gonna cut that excess off again at the end there. And that's it. And now I'm gonna literally do the same arrow with the same speed to every single box. And then I'm gonna add it to the center. And this is what it looks like. So now we have all of this ready. We need to just quickly fix up the arrows. So now we've got all the arrows in the position we want. It's time to add the text that appears in each box. So I'm just gonna use default text and I'm gonna keep it white. And then here, we're just gonna write like secret one, secret two, secret three, secret four, or whatever your video is gonna be about that you're gonna go through. Then you just duplicate them six times and add the text that you want into each one of the boxes. And there it is, that's as easy as that. And now we wanna get the timing right. So when the first arrows appear, we want to have the text appear at the same time and then the next arrows animation will start then. So I'm gonna use the cursor to move back and forward until I find exactly where it is the first two arrows complete and then I'm gonna basically cut the clips back to there. And then the next arrow animations will start and then we're also going to then have the next text start at the same time. So now I'm gonna move the text down and line it up and then this is what it should look like. Today, the text appears and then the X arrow, the text appears. Now it's just a case of adding an animation for the text appearance. So in the animations, I'm gonna go on this in animation and this glow. I think that looks really nice and it also goes with the gold and glow arrows and the text in the middle. There we go. So now that's basically it. Now we need to go and animate this whole thing. So to do that, we've got to create a compound clip and then you just click right click compound clip 
And here we don't worry about this. You can just need to rescreen blend and it will fix any issues. And now we need to set a keyframe and I'm basically gonna scale it all the way in and then have it zoom out as obviously the arrow animations work their way up the flow chart. Today, so that works and now, steps for selling AI. and now I'm gonna scale it back all the way and have the whole screen in place so you can see everything. So let's watch that back. Today, I will break down the simple steps see, that looks AI. cool. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter so then we can see the next steps. The steps. Perfect. So now we've done the flow diagram, it's time to animate the actual grid background to zoom out at the same time. So then this gives us a really cool effect because you can see the grid lines, it, it gives the perspective that is actually moving. So we'll start this scaled out and then we'll move to the same keyframe position and then we'll scale it back to small, the same as the diagram. And then this will really add perspective and emphasize the movement. Today, I will break down the simple steps for <laughs> See, I think this looks sick. And it obviously it's such a simple version. You can obviously tweak all of these effects. And now I'm just gonna add the vibrant glow to add this like really cool, like animated glowing effect. I'm gonna turn all the effects actually right down just because I think this looks better. Today, I will break down and look, the steps <laughs> now I think, this honestly looks sick. And now if you see everything Today, together. I will break down the simple steps for selling AI generated <laughs> using mid -journey. So that was like a really quick, simplistic version of what you see these guys doing with these secret formulas. Obviously you can spend a lot more time and make this really polished and add a lot more layers to it. And then you can literally just reuse the same template if you like, create it in Canva and then just change the text, orientate a little bit and add a couple images and diagrams like these guys use and adding animation, sound effects, etc to really bring it to life. That's a wrap on the editing tutorial, but how do these guys actually retain your attention through their script writing? So I won't keep you waiting any longer. What are the dark secrets that they're using to keep you watching to the end of their videos? It's exactly what I did in this video. Powerful language. See, your number one advantage as a faceless channel is that you can write and read the perfect script. You see, when I'm filming, I can write down a script, but when it comes to speaking, it's really hard for me to go word for word to keep the script to the point, powerful and engaging. Whereas a faceless channel, they can utilize powerful language throughout and they can read their script directly. So their tonality is always perfect. Their exact execution of the script word for word can always be perfect. So that's how. And how are these guys making absolute bank from these faceless businesses? Digital Income Project is doing what all educational creators should, which is providing more value to their audience on a specific problem, which he covers in his videos, in depth so he gives them more value for a price tag and he's selling additional courses and information so people after watching their videos can go find out more and then 10x income is doing something really powerful which he's providing done for you resources whether they're prompts or templates so that people can follow the methods in his videos but cut out the work of the actual creation of the method so both of these are amazing ways to utilize your channel to monetize them and stop trying to work on adsense i guarantee when you start making your own digital products, you're going to make way more money than YouTube AdSense. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to watch this video as I expose my own editing tutorial on how I make these videos. YouTube is a really, really difficult game. But once you start learning how to script, edit, it can really be profitable. And if you work hard and you hustle, you can really change your life with a faceless channel or a personal brand. <laughs> Shout out to my bros, Digital Income Project and 10X Income. You know I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Your boy's gone skis.